I'm human. Even just saying that makes my stomach tighten. Allowing myself to feel emotions has never been a problem for me, but accepting the ones that don't feel as good. I feel the constant need to be happy and productive all the time, which is something I'm working on. I don't feel like, quote, myself when I'm not feeling 100%, but I needed to realize that it's all a part of me and I'm not only me when I feel good or when I'm productive. My worth isn't built on how much I get done, but what kind of person I am. Thank you guys so much for all the love on my last video. It felt good to take a much needed break for my own mental health. Things got dark in my life and they still are and I'm working through it. I didn't feel inspired or motivated. I lost interest in everything I love. And what I find hardest wasn't just that low feeling, but the resistance of it. As soon as I said, it's okay to feel this way, it's okay you're not feeling great, I felt like a thousand pounds were lifted off my shoulders. Resisting emotions is sometimes harder than the emotions themselves. And now that I've accepted that I am human, I have things to deal with, I'm not perfect, and I'm going not going to be inspired or productive all the time, I feel better already. Sometimes the darkest moments are right before a breakthrough is about to happen, especially as an artist. All those dark emotions now get thrown into my artwork, my music, my life lessons, but only once I was ready. Sometimes you can't immediately turn emotions into art, they need to sit there for a while. But where is the balance between pushing ourselves through times of no inspiration? Because if we relied on passion and inspiration, nothing would ever get done. But pushing ourselves too hard leads to burnout and other things. So where is the line and how do we find it for ourselves? Something I'm still figuring out. I'm always one for accountability and admitting when I'm wrong, but I'm slowly uncovering more hidden things about myself that I never knew. Admitting certain things to myself has been really hard. You know, my intentions, motivations, thought processes. Right when I feel like I've moved ahead spiritually, emotionally, intellectually, something happens and sets back the growth. And that's a beautiful thing. Growth never ends and something will always happen in life to humble us and to teach us. Even in day-to-day -day life, there are good and bad moments. I want to be open and honest on here. I want to grow alongside you as an artist and as a person. I want to stay vulnerable because that's what art is. Thank you for listening and thank you for sticking around with me.